All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we now have the official details for the upcoming Int Super Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening. So in today's video, we're gonna check it out together and uh, find out just how good it actually is. On top of that, we also have EZAs for the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku and the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So of course, we'll get into those later on as well. But why don't we start with the Gogeta first? He's dropping on JP on December 8th, 2020, so basically in a day and a half from now, I believe. And uh, let's start with his pre-awakened details first, and then we'll do a comparison with the EZA details. So before Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill was super int types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, and extreme int types, key plus 1, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack caused immense damage and lowers attack and defense, and passive was 120% attack, or attack plus 120%, attacks effective against all types. So even though he was good offensively, the main issue with this unit was the fact that he had no defense whatsoever, right? So on any event where the boss could actually do some real damage, right? Like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, Legendary Goku event, um, even Battlefield sometimes, things like that, then he was definitely not a great option, right? He was definitely a liability, at least defensively. But now, with this Extreme Z Awakening, they pretty much addressed every single issue that he had defensively, and also further improved upon his offense too. So, needless to say, I'm a huge fan of this EZA. Let's just uh, get into it, and then we'll talk about it after. All right, so leader skill is Super Int Types Key Plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, and extreme int types give plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Attacks effective against all types. Medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks with one or more rainbow key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 40% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained, and then high chance of performing a critical hit with three or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So essentially, if you get three rainbow key spheres, he's getting attack plus 160%, defense plus 120%, and he's also getting a uh, high chance of critical hit and also a medium chance to evade all enemy attacks. So. Dude, he's awesome. This is an amazing Extreme Z Awakening, man. I mean, I have literally zero complaints about it. Like I said, they addressed all of his defensive issues. Like, I'm not saying he's a top tier tank now by any means, he's not, but his defense is actually good now. It might even be great if you factor in the fact that he has a medium chance to dodge after getting one Rainbow Key Sphere. He also raises defense on his super attack. So um, his defense should at least hold up now in some of the harder events in the game. Obviously, you'll still have to be careful about, you know, super attacks on Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, stuff like that. But now his defense should be good enough for any event in the game. And then on top of that, they made him better offensively too, man. Look at this. Attack plus 40% with two or more Rainbow Key Spheres obtained. So 160% attack. And then if you get three or more Rainbow Key Spheres, he's getting a high chance to crit. And that's crazy. He was already putting out good numbers. He was already putting out good damage because he had attacks effective against all types, right? But now he's getting more attack. He's getting a high chance to crit. And he's also getting much better stats. When he's fully Extreme Z Awakened and rainbowed now, he has an attack stat of 19,738. You give him a skill orb, that can easily go over 20,000. Right, and then his defense is 10,787, which is not crazy, but also really, really good. So, um, yeah, his damage is gonna be wild, man. I mean, there is literally no reason to use the STR Gogeta anymore if you have this guy. I mean, look, STR Gogeta has served us well, he's still a good unit. I still use him every once in a while on my Fusions team, but this guy is just so much better. And I'm just so happy they did him right because it's Gogeta, right? Like they messed up Super Saiyan 3 Broly, obviously we're upset about that, but at the end of the day, 
is just Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and I don't think people in general care nearly as much about Super Saiyan 3 Broly compared to, you know, Super Gogeta. So I'm glad that if they had to mess one easy A up, it was Broly as opposed to Gogeta or Super 17 or the upcoming Janemba, Cooler, so on and so forth, because man, they did it right this time. This this is how you make an easy A. This is exactly how every easy A should be. They've been a little bit inconsistent in the past, but recently I think they've been doing a really good job. So props to Akatsuki, props to Bandai for that. And uh, that is Gogeta, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. I think he's amazing. I think he's awesome. I'm super, super happy with this. All right, so... From there, let's quickly talk about the ECAs for the HEL Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Starting with this guy right here, before the EZA, his leader skill was AGL, STR, and Fizz types, HP and attack plus 30%, super attack, supreme damage, and passive was attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. Now after Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill is AGL, STR, and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, Causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, and then attack and defense plus 59%. All allies' chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% and attack plus 20% when there are only Realm of Gods category allies attacking in the same turn. So obviously, you want to run him on a majority Realm of Gods team to get the most out of him, and under those conditions, because his additional boosts are calculated separately, He's actually getting up to attack plus 258% and defense plus 218% when there are only Realm of Gods category allies in the same turn. And then obviously, the rest of the rotation is also getting the critical hit chance plus 7% and attack plus 20%. So yeah, really, really good easy A once again. A little bit basic in my opinion, but I wasn't expecting too much from these non dokkan Fest easy A's and... Of course, when you compare it to his pre-awakened form, this is a vast improvement. And of course, he also gets better stats, right? So with the EZA, his attack goes up to 16,452, 16,842 HP, and 10,926 defense at rainbow status compared to a max of 13,544 attack before the EZA. So much better stats, way better passive, better leader skill, all that stuff. Good job to Akatsuki for this EZA as well. And finally, let's talk about the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So before EZA, his leader skill was Tech Types Key Plus 3, or sorry, uh, Tech Types Attack Plus 33% for every Tech Key Sphere obtained, so he was one of those nuke leads. His Super Attack causes supreme damage to enemies, and passive was Attack Plus 30% and changes Rainbow Key Spheres to Tech Key Spheres. Post Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill becomes tech types attack plus 35% per tech key sphere obtained. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and passive is changes rainbow key spheres to tech key spheres. Attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack plus 59% and all allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% when there are only tech type allies attacking in the same turn. So I'm sure you can tell he's very similar to the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku, except for the fact that you're swapping out the additional attack support for orb changing, right? That's really the main difference. And obviously this guy is better on an all tech team, whereas the AGL Goku is better on a all Realm of Gods team. And uh, in terms of his stats, pretty similar as well. 17,629 HP, 16,099 attack, and 10,474 defense at rainbow status when fully Extreme Z Awakened. So those are your three Extreme Z Awakenings. If I were to rank them, I would probably go, you know, Gogeta number one, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku number two, and Tech Super Saiyan Blue Goku number three. But with that said, they're all awesome. So I have no complaints whatsoever. And uh, that is today's video guys let me know in the comments down below once again what you think about gogeta's eza and also the uh, two super saiyan blue gokus i'm extremely happy with all three especially the gogeta but it's nice to see that 
they're giving a lot of love to these uh, side non-ECA or non FS units as well, right? So that's it guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.